How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs. Today, I wanted to share with you a handful of things that you can bring along in your RV to help you stay fit. So if you wanted to continue to exercise as you RV, but you don't want to bring the whole gym or weight system, I want to give you some ideas so that you can continue to exercise while you RV. Well, I'm not a huge fitness guy. I do like to stay active. And so these are things that are gonna help you along in that area. So let's start off with some of the obvious things with number one, just being active. You have shoes, why not go for a walk? Take a hike, use that RV park that you're staying in to, to walk up and down the aisles. There's plenty of places to just get out and walk and be active. These are some of the really simple things that RVers usually take along with them anyways. Kind of like a bike, put a hitch on the back of your RV and get a bike carrier from e-trailer or somewhere where you can put multiple bikes on there and go on a bike ride. It's a great way to exercise. I even use an electric bike. I turned the electric portion off so as I'm pedaling, I'm not having that pedal assist and I was able to use it that way. It worked really well. These are really some of my favorite options when you're doing something that you're enjoying. You're going out there to go boondocking or enjoy the outdoors out there. Why not enjoy it with a hike or a bike ride? This is kind of like double dipping. You get the, the benefit of enjoying the area for what it is and you, you get the exercise out of it too. It's, it's kind of a win-win. Another thing that we have on the RV are the paddle boards. I love getting out and using those and it's it's great exercise to get out and use it and it's a ton of fun. So those are things that you may not even need to buy anything. Just go on a walk, go on a hike, go on a bike ride, go on a paddle board. Use something like that to get out and do something. Now, one thing that we have kept on the RV for a long time that we have used, kind of step it up from there, are the resistance bands. So you can use those for just a wide variety of different kind of workouts that you'd like to do. Uh, really simple to a little bit more complex. Now, one thing I would mention is we don't actually attach it to the door on the inside of the RV. I don't feel like the, the walls are especially strong and I don't want to start testing that inside the RV. And we don't have a, a super good place to be able to mount it on the wall, but there's a lot of other exercises that you can use with the resistance band whether it has handles on it or it's a loop, a resistance band is a, a great way to be able to add some resistance to a workout. I like these resistance bands for a few reasons. Number one, I can use these indoors so I can be a little bit more discreet. I don't have to do the workout outside if I don't want to. Number two, they came with these handles, which are just average handles. They're fine, they, they work well, but it has the carabiner on here. So the resistance bands that we had before this, we, I wasn't able to dial it in quite like I was on this one. So we were able to add two resistance bands. So we have a, what do we have? A 40 and a 25 on here right now. So you can add or take away, you could put two, you could put three on here and you can use it how you like. So this is again, kind of like the jump rope, so small, very compact and gives you a lot of flexibility on the workouts that you can do. So the resistance band is really inexpensive too. So it's a, it's a, a really good piece of equipment for on the RV. Now, before we get into some of these higher ticket items, something that's really inexpensive is a jump rope. And the jump rope is so small and so lightweight, you can definitely find room for this on the RV. And it is a really good workout. It'll wear you out really fast. I almost prefer it to running because it is so effective. So a jump rope is a great one that's very cost effective and lightweight and you don't have to go anywhere to use it. You could just use it on the mat outside of the RV. Something else that's really simple is just using your body weight. So if you wanted to do push-ups or planks or lunges or something like that, you can do that just about anywhere. I don't do like jumping jacks or anything like that inside of the RV. Anything that's gonna be impacting the ground of the RV, I don't usually do that. I mean, I guess it'd be fine if you had a toy hauler or something like that, but I don't really wanna test the floor jumping on the inside of the RV. Just something to keep in mind. You can kind of see where I'm going with it. I don't really try and test the doors. I don't try and test the floor, but I do try and use the RV and things that we bring along with us to have some activity. Now, if you wanted to step it up, say you like to be able to bring weights along, but you don't want to bring a whole weight system and all that that would entail, and you don't really care for the resistance bands, is there's a, a Max Pro unit that's out there. It's only 10 pounds, and you could dial it from five pounds to 300 pounds. So you could even be doing squats with this thing, and it's not a resistance band. You're able to, to dial in the weight that you'd like to use, and then it's very consistent all the way through. It feels like you're lifting that weight. So there's really not the same resistance going down, but it it does give you that consistent weight all the way up because you can go all the way from the floor all the way up and have that weight be consistent all the way through. It's not like a resistance band where it's going to be less when you're down low and then really tight if you're trying to get a full extension on that. 
Now with this, a couple of things that I wanted to mention is just how compact this is. So it's not big when it's set up, but it also folds in half. So when you fold it in half, it's only 10 pounds. You can put this in a drawer and it stores really easily. So the amount of tension and resistance that you can get to be able to utilize in a small package is notable. The other thing is I think there's options to explore for how you're going to use it and mount it with an RV. So I mentioned we're not gonna use it on a door on the inside of the RV, but I think you could get creative with a hitch mount or something to where you can mount this and use it on the outside. Oftentimes we're just having it on the ground and we're standing on it and using the resistance but I think there's a lot of options out there to explore with this. This one's actually not mine. This is my son's. He's letting me borrow it for the video, but the way that you dial in the resistance, it kind of reminds me of the free weight systems that are out there where you can dial in how much weight you'd like, and then you, you lift it off and that's the amount of weight that you're able to work with. I've seen those in RV parks and that's worth mentioning too. Sometimes when you travel around, you go to these RV parks, sometimes they'll have a, a workout room or some equipment that you can utilize while you're there. I also know some people that have gym memberships that they use all across the country. So having a gym membership and a plan is a good option to go to. But being able to dial in your resistance and have some other features to go along with it makes this a notable thing to have in the discussion. It does have an app that you can use with it so you can see the resistance that you have set in there. It'll count the amount of reps that you're doing so you can keep track of it. There's also workout programs inside there that give you a handful in the beginning that you can follow along with. And of course you can upgrade to other workouts uh, like most apps that are out there for fitness. They always want you to upgrade for more workouts. So it has that app to go along with this type of a system. And you can get different things to go along with it. If you just wanted the handles to be able to use it, if you wanted to have the leg straps, it has that also. And it also has a bar for doing a, a wide variety of different kind of exercises that you would like to do. It also has an optional bench if you wanted to. You can strap it to the bench and it will give you way more exercises that you can do with that. So there's a lot of options with this unit. It's, it's pretty expensive though. I'll put a link down in the description to everything that we're talking about from this Max Pro to the resistance bands to even the paddle boards that we were talking I'll put links down in the description to everything that we're talking about today. Another idea is you can get a fitness tracker. So this is an Apple Watch. This one has a cracked glass on the front. That's why it was handed down to me. But you can use that to help motivate you to get out there and walk and kind of track how much you're doing into the day and, and really kind of gauge it. So those, those can be effective tools with you. They don't weigh hardly anything. They're pretty spendy, but uh, they don't weigh anything really easy to bring along in the RV. You can even use your phone. Just download a free app and see how far you're walking when you're getting out there and doing things. So being able to track those can be somewhat motivating and helpful to give you a gauge of where you're at on on each day. So great tools to be able to, to use. Funny thing about all this is I'm not super consistent in these kind of a things, but I thought it'd be helpful to kind of put together a list of things that are really easy to bring on the RV or maybe things that you already do have that maybe this is the year that you want to be a little bit more active. And some of these things might help you as you RV. So I think that's going to do it for today. That was a list of things that you can do with really just your own body weight, doing push-ups, uh, planks, those kind of things, and all the way up to kind of having a mobile gym with you with that Max Pro. So uh, there's different levels of where you would like to be and what you would like to do for this, this next year. So anyways, like I said, I think that's going to do it for today. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. If we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will. See you next video.